life treating you because it's treating me quite well right now I'm in a little town looking fabulous there are autumnal leaves on the floor there are iconic bakeries nearby and since I have something bitter we need to naturally go and get something sweet come with me and let's go on a strut <laughs> Okay, I dropped it a tiny bit, but we're, we're all good. <laughs> oh god, it's going, wait. Oh. Let's change location. Let's drive somewhere. Because there are so many crickets here. I keep getting crickets in my van. The other day, a cricket came in first time never had one before came in i was chilling on my bed with my new pink rug okay the pink rug is aesthetically pleasing but entirely impractical because it has like an inch thick of fur cricket got lost in <laughs> in the blanket cricket hopping around me screaming i don't like hopping things I can appreciate them for their majesticness and their naturalness but I don't I don't like the hopping no that terrifies me and then okay guess where I found it guess where I found it guess where I found it he was on my chandelier on my chandelier I kind of developed a relationship with this cricket really quickly because I was like it's got good taste you know However, they keep coming in and they're like a bit too jumpy for me. So we're gonna change location. <laughs> I found this place and I was like, oh, this is so cute. Is it? Is it cute? I don't know, you guys be the judge of it, I can't quite decide. being the paid partnership of this video. As you guys can guess, it's very complicated finding appointments anywhere as a nomad. Whether it be hairdressing, Oops. the dog groomers, or if you need some kind of therapy. We all need someone to talk to from time to time. I know I definitely do. And trying to find a 
therapist when you're constantly on the move it's impossible because you can't attend appointments frequently and even trying to find someone who speaks the same language as you when you're in different countries it's virtually impossible right so this is where better help helps they're a platform dedicated to making therapy accessible because they're online it's remote and they make finding a therapist easy better help will ask you some questions you answer them and then they'll match you with a therapist that they think is correct for you and then you can build your relationship from there in whichever form of communication you'd like the best part is if you don't feel comfortable with your therapist you can match with another one and you can keep going till you find another credentialed therapist that you feel comfortable with so if you're interested in better help i put a link in my description box that you can click on and you can get 10% off your first month of therapy with better help okay this is kind of chill minus whatever that whirring sound is I don't know what that is hey you okay that whirring sound is actually a massive tractor I do not vibe with that. For some reason, I have a really intense phobia of like big vehicles, <laughs> like tractors. I used to just dream about getting mowed by this lawnmower every night. I don't know why. I feel like machinery is scary. Like, although I quite like the idea of like a big RV, equally like a lorry or something, that scares me. It's just too big, it's too much. <laughs> simply too much all right um ooh, i've got something we're gonna do um i've got a load of decorations that i haven't put up you're gonna love it you're gonna love it. hold on okay so the other day i bought some new decorations because i was getting fed up with my van the way it is can you see me properly is that better Alrighty, so to begin with, big problem area would be this. You guys have seen this. You guys have known this. You guys have loved this. It's a little glass thing, which is probably the worst idea <laughs> ever for the van. Like it used to have compartments and stuff, but it got all smashed up. Um, I don't know why I chose glass and mirror in my van and a chandelier. Basically, I just make aesthetic choices not practical ones and i suggest you do the same thing because you know this has lasted like i don't know a year but it is time instead of all my rings just like rattling around in here in this like jumble sale we can now have them all neatly organized i'm so excited about it and then next up all right this is going to sound very hypocritical but i hate fake flowers there's something wrong about fake flowers i look at them and i'm just like sorry Gigi. you're supposed to be alive not like this but this little corner up here has annoyed me forever you guys remember all the plants that died quite tragic really never forget I just really don't like the corner. I want some life to it, even though these are dead. I just can't kill another plant. The only thing that has ever survived in here is the dry lavender and this stupid cactus. This plant here has lasted almost two years in my van. If you want a plant for your van, get a cacti. Cactus. Look at it. Okay, it looks a bit dead. But maybe that's because I didn't water it for like a year. Oh god, I've like killed it. Oh shit. Um, I should probably water that. There we go, buddy. Have a great life. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you. Wait. I also have two really cool things to put on the walls as well. Number one, it's like a Marilyn Monroe record. They obviously, they don't work. I bought it at a market. Well, they're upcycled records. And I make them into these. I love it so much. And then my other one, hold up. Hold up. Hot, right? I love them both. I just didn't know where I'm gonna put them, really. All right, I feel like this is gonna take a minute, but it's gonna be so worth it. Shit, just 
broke it already. Fantastic. Oh, I can organize my rings. What? I can organize stuff? Stuff has a place? My rings and SD cards no longer have to share the same holding as gum and batteries and plasters and old bank cards, sharpening pencils, pencil sharpeners, my spare keys, door handle, chandelier parts, my insect uh, roller. Oh, I got bitten so much again. It's been traumatic as fuck. My Sandra Pay lighter. My singular earring that's now attached to a hairband that I cannot find the other one off haunts me every day. And a hairband for Gigi. That's the contents of my random crap. Right, come here, you can see my organization. I know, it's very exciting. <laughs> I got all my things in here, how cute is that? Everything has a place. I feel so put together with this. It's great. Next up, we have this corner. This is like the crappiest corner in all existence. Like, this is just Gigi's dog stuff. A dog, obviously. A rat. A fish dino duck. Do you remember this Gigi? She doesn't seem impressed. And some Christmas decorations. This is my attic. This is actually my attic. How cute is that? Okay, attic's time is over. We're now going for the flowers. Ah, I don't even like how they feel. Blech. This is literally the most unme thing I've ever done in my life. I swore I would never touch fake flowers and here I am. Touching fake flowers, buying them. It's just I really wanted a pretty... That doesn't even look very good. Oh my god, they're bendy. What is this? Natural. Maybe I can get on board with this. That doesn't even look that good. Okay, so moving on. Here, or like the other side of my bed, and this one here. But I kind of like this one best, so I want it on display more. <laughs> I'm literally talking about like a six meter square space. It's gonna be seen from every angle. I don't know why I'm even having a debate. You know what? In a van, decorations, you don't get many, okay? So you've got to be precious about them. It's a big deal. I've already made a mistake with the fake flowers, and we're not doing the same with my records. Yes, Gigi. I forgot my YouTube award. I, I got this like a year ago. It was sent to my grandpa, so I never got it until I went back the other week. I completely forgot to share that. Maybe I should have it there. Okay, there is one screw loose. I wanted to put this one up, but it needs two things, and I only have one, so that's kind of sad. But let's try this, wait, hold on. I have a drill bit and a screw. Don't have the appliances. Moment of truth. This is what I did my whole van build. I refused to measure anything. I was like, it looks about right. This is why you measure everything. Not straight it will. Oh no, it needed to be up. Oh, you know what? I don't care. It's up. I actually got coffee all down the front of it. Well, I'm pretty proud of my efforts. This can go in the bin. Look how gross that is. We don't love that. But we do love this. My whole van feels like new van, kind of. Not really. But a little bit. Yeah, wait, I need to show you the final result. Okay, new, new things. New things. Don't like it as much, but new things. It feels different in here now. There's like a new vibe. I love it. I love it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I don't know what today was. Actually, yeah, I do. It's an expression of my life. Fabulously weird. <laughs> I'm going to make tea and I'm going to go to sleep because I genuinely just took like a very short nap. 
I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm so tired. Like, I've been really tired recently. Don't know what's happening. But, um, I'm gonna make a tea and I'm gonna go to sleep. And thank you so much, as ever, for joining me. I will see you next Friday. Bye.